You guys love haul videos and I love shopping. So this is a win-win situation. Now, last time we did a haul video, we went to Target. We asked you in the comment box where you wanted us to go next time. You put the four letter word in the comment box. So a few days ago, Chad and I headed over to the very popular, very famous Ikea, picked up a bunch of stuff. And now we're gonna show you what we picked up at our Ikea haul. All of our Swedish followers are probably gonna laugh their butts off at my pronunciations, but just bear with me guys. Okay, this is a really cool accordion style pot holder or pot uh, lid holder. It's called Veria, Ver Veria? And uh, it's available in the kitchen section. It was about 10 bucks and it's really good for creating efficient space for all of those pot lids really like this glad I picked it up these containers many of you who have seen our kitchen reno video or our kitchen tour video have probably seen these containers in the cupboard they are really great for storing dry goods I don't have the name of them on the package but they are in the IKEA 365 section which is the kitchen section they're very wonderful and I got an extra pair because I have more dry goods that need to be stored next item this one's really easy to pronounce soda these giant straw packs i think they're yeah there are 200 in here they were 99 cents and i love using straws for smoothies they protect my teeth from staining 99 cents 200 straws you cannot go wrong next thing we got was this funky little dish brush it does not have a name i don't believe but the cool thing is that it's got a plunger and if this was not a wood surface I'm sure it would stick beautifully and it's really great because the plunger allows the brush to drip dry fantastic thing for your kitchen and I think this was around one or two dollars and as you can see Ikea is not afraid of color these are very convenient plunger suction cup hooks so these I have earmarked for the bathroom I think I'm gonna use them in my shower to hang my squee uh, no my squeegee has a plunger my loofah and my pumice stone for my foot foot I have two of those feet and Chad's gonna use them in his bathroom for the same thing they're really great because they're reusable you can pop them off and put them on wherever you like again very inexpensive and you get four very cute very colorful plunger hooks the next thing I picked up were two packages of s hooks they are called Grund Towel. You get five of them in a pack. They were not very expensive. And the reason I decided to pick up S hooks was because I recently saw a cool little hack that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in an upcoming video, and it has to do with your bedroom closet. So stay tuned for that. This is called Filler, like Filler Up. And what a great name, cause it's a garbage can. The reason we got this garbage can was Chad wanted a new garbage can for his I was gonna say for his kitchen. Chad wanted a new garbage can for his office because he had a see-through one and he didn't like seeing all of his garbage building up. So we figured this was a nice alternative. Very classy. There you go, Chad, enjoy. The thing I love about Ikea is they have all kinds of staples there. And these little jars here are called Rajton, Rajton. And the reason these are great is they fit beautifully in my spice cupboard, which I'm sure many of you have seen. And I use these to store my spices currently. And since I am always trying out new things in the kitchen, I figured I would pick up four more of these so I could get some new spices. We also picked up some of this. It might look crafty to you, but it does serve a wonderful purpose. This is for concealing all of your cables. Some people call it cable trucking. Some people call it cable keepers or I don't know, you call it whatever you want. This comes with some tie wraps, which are great because you can actually uh, stuff your cables inside this uh, spirally container for your cables. And then you can tie wrap it to table legs or um, any of those under the table storage solutions that you might have seen somewhere in an office supply store or at Ikea. These are called Rabalders. Rabalders, you can get those at Ikea and they will help keep your office nice and organized. It is almost tax time, so we decided to pick up a couple of these cassette boxes. They're a little bit expensive, but they're very durable. They're made with um, metal edges and thick, thick, thick cardboard. So they're really good for keeping papers and files and all that kind of stuff. So Chad was adamant that we picked up a couple more of these. 
These nifty little storage bins have been getting quite a lot of great feedback on our videos whenever we are in the kitchen. This one that we have in the kitchen uh, is red and white, so we didn't see any more colored ones. They only had white on white, but they are indeed called, ooh, we don't have a name on this one. Oh no, we don't have a name on them. But I know if you go to our kitchen videos, um, a lot of people will uh, talk about the name of the product and I'm sure a lot of you guys will know the name of the product and you'll start flurrying the comments with the name of the product. But anyway, they're available in the kitchen section. They come in two sizes. We like these. Um, we use them under the kitchen sink to keep sponges and cleaning products and tools separate from one another. So I've really enjoyed compartmentalizing with these. We also use them for salt, pepper, and napkins, and all kinds of great stuff in the kitchen. And we're gonna be using these in our newly renovated laundry room, which we will show you as soon as it is done. Next thing we picked up was this. It is called Scub. And Scub is a lot cooler than it sounds because it is one of those hanging organizer solutions um, it's made out of a fabric material. It's got these Velcro loops, which will basically Velcro onto a crossbar. And what happens is when we renovate our laundry room, we are getting some extra hanging space. And we're gonna use this as a solution to keep some of our off-season shoes. We also picked up this beautiful looking beast. It is called the Ream Forza. And what does the Ream Forza do, you might ask? It's a tablet holder and it's pretty. So I use a lot of uh, recipes on Pinterest. You guys that follow me on Instagram know that because I'm always Instagramming my food and I pretty much pin all of my recipes on Pinterest, which means that I need some sort of computational device in the kitchen so that I can reference it while I'm cooking. Therefore, having a nice little stand for the old tablet makes a lot of sense. So when we saw this it was about 15 bucks, we thought it was a good thing to pick up. That brings this Ikea haul to an end, but not quite yet because I need to know where are we going on our next haul video? Let me know your request in the comments down below and also let me know what was your favorite item from this haul? What do you think you would pick up if you were going to Ikea? Also, make sure you follow Chad and I on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. He's at the Chad Reynolds. We are at Clean My Space, and we'll show you exactly where we're putting all this stuff and what it actually looks like once it's in use. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.